This is a quick video of a stoichiometric table for a batch system. It's kind of like an ice table, but overall it's, it's relatively simple and straightforward. So let's say we have some reaction A plus B goes to C. Goes to C. Now A has some number, like a stoichiometric coefficient. Little a, B has its own, little b, and C has its own, little c. So that means for, let's say if A was 2, that means for every 2 moles of A, that I reacted and let's say C was 1, we only get 1 mole of C. So that's what these little A's and little C's and little B's represent. So now let's say we have a batch reactor and we have our streams going in. And it's just a batch so it just fills up real quick. So we have some moles of A going in initially, some moles of B going in initially, and some moles of C going in initially. Moles of C. And again, maybe no moles of C are going in at all. And let's add one more thing. Let's add an inert. Something that doesn't react with anything. Some some just some inerts that don't change, that just they're going along for the ride. Maybe it's water, maybe it's nitrogen, but they're not doing anything. So to start off with our table, we need to put the species. Species. And that is A, B, C, and I. So for the inerts we have I. And then we have some total. So some total. So again, that's just total. So initially, initially, we have in A initial moles, in B initial moles, in C initial moles, and in I initial inerts. And oops, in I initial inerts. Now they change. They change, and we're going to do this change based around A. So all these are going to be based around A. So A is changing by the conversion, where X is, XA is the conversion of A. Conversion of A. So if X is equal to 1, we have a 100% conversion of A. So that means all of A has been consumed. If it is equal to 0 0.1, then we only have 10% of A being consumed. So if we initially have, I don't know, some initial amount of A, and we multiply it by the conversion, XA, so NA naught times XA, that will give us the change. So if it's 10%, if we have 10% of A consumed, so, so to calculate the change of A, it would be a negative, because A is being consumed, a negative initial moles of A times the conversion. So if we have... 50% uh, of A consumed, so if X is equal to 0 0.5, then that means we only have half our initial amount of A. Now let's calculate the remaining. Remaining. Well, the remaining moles of A is equal to equal to Na0 minus the consumption or generation. So we are, we are consuming A, so it's a negative Na0 times x a. Now for b, we're going to do a little bit something a little bit different. We're going to divide both sides or both sides of this equation by a. By a. So now the change in the moles of b is equal to a negative b over c or b over a and a naught x a. So for every one mole of a that's consumed, we have b over a moles of b being consumed. The same is true for C, except it's positive because C is being being uh, actually generated, so it's C over A and A not X A. So for say so so for every mole of A that is consumed, we have C C over A moles of C being generated. So that's why it's positive, no longer negative, and nothing's happening to the inerts because I mean they're inerts and they're not reacting with anything. Now the change for B is equal to N A naught minus B over A N A naught X A. And the change for B, or for C, I'm sorry, is N C naught minus C over A N A naught X A. And notice really this is just A over A. A over A. And inerts are equal to the initial amount of inerts, because there's no change in the in the amount of inerts. That's just inerts. 
So if we were to do the total change in the in the system, we have n t not initial moles of t in the system. We're not going to look at the change. We're going to look at just the remaining. Well, the total moles remaining in the system is equal to n t not minus the change of all this, or plus the change of all this. Oh, that's actually positive. Sorry about that. That's positive. So what we get, if we just look at this, we notice that these all have NAx in them. So it's plus NAx, X, oops, Na not Xa, plus, plus C over A, minus B over A, minus A over A. So if we look at this, if we added all these up, all I did was just do some quick math, or if we just added all these up, we get this equation. And if we notice a over a is just 1, so that is just a minus 1 over a. Minus, or just minus 1. And we call this delta. Delta. So delta tells us the total change in moles in the system per mole of a reacted. That's all delta does. And it's very useful in helping us calculate when we have a change in the volume of the system are just, just finding really just the basic change in the moles of the entire system. So nt is equal to nt naught delta, so plus delta n a naught x a. So this is the equation for the remaining moles in the system at some conversion of a.